Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Five Minute Fridays. I'm Miranda. Uh, that means I must be Dan. I think so. <laughs> and well, we have a great show for you guys today. This is yes. really exciting. But yeah. let's quickly go over our streaming stuff. Streaming to YouTube, 1080p, 29.9 frames per second, and six megabytes per second. Yep. Streaming to Facebook. Using VMix Pro version 22, which the latest version has templates for your X Keys video switcher keys kit oh, and yes. our new replay unit. Oh, yes. Um, we're using some PTZ Optics cameras, uh, USB and NDI ones. Our X Keys mouse mat is still holding up very well. Yep. Um, using VMix Social for, via Kindle Fire, so please drop us some comments. And as always, Works. We're using our XKeys XKE 124 T bar. It is for your key set. To control everything. Yep. So today, you guys have a treat. I yeah. think um, this. I'm a big fan of of Scott Blake, and uh, I can't remember if Scott contacted us or if we found his video online first. But um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, so let's uh, let's introduce you to Scott. Yeah. All right. Hi, Scott. How's it going, X Keys? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Make sure I have your audio on. <laughs> so, Scott, um, I think the best way to introduce you is to show everybody the original uh, track timing video that you did, and then uh, you, they'll get in introduced to you the same way I was. So let's let's just do that, and then we'll come back. Sounds good. All right. Heck. Take it away. Yep. I finished the track timer for my electric trike. I got some reflective beam sensors from Seco Alarm. Whenever the beam is interrupted, the relay switches the connection. I also upgraded my X keys switch from three inputs to 12. I set up seven sensors on my track and measured the distance between the beams. Fun bit of math calculates the miles per hour between the sensors. I also set up Google Sheets to calculate the lap times, depending on which loop I've completed. There are three loops on my figure eight track. For watching. <laughs> that was great. I, I never get tired of watching that. It's just <laughs> that so. was super fun. Yeah. That, so that was three years ago. I just looked on my email. I contacted you in November of 2016. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. It looks like you had so much fun doing that, like everything about it, planning it, and obviously actually completing it. Yeah, no, I started off just as riding around my backyard, and then I was like, I wonder how fast I'm going, and yeah, it just sort of spiraled from there. I still, <laughs> I still ride almost every day when it's not raining. Right now, it's a bit of a mud pit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's right outside this window. That's <laughs> <awesome. crap. laughs> Uh, where are you located, Scott? Omaha, Nebraska, right in the middle. Oh. Nice. Very cool. And um, my next question is, what do your neighbors think? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I've got, obviously, neighbors on, I would say, four sides, you know, one on each side, and only one out of the four um, has ever complained, and uh, rightfully so. I, I, so it goes around the front of the house, and I've wiped out and did a complete like a uh, yard sale into that neighbor's yard. And so oh they were like, God. "Hey, could you not? Can you not like wipe out in my yard?" <laughs> um, but they have little children. And the children come out and like cheer me on. And then on my other side is a police officer, and he's actually gotten in the trike and done a lap. Um, nice. So, so yeah, the neighbors are. The, you know what? The, the real thing is, um, they're all the trikes are electric, and so there's no uh, no loud gas and no smell. Um, and I really think that makes the biggest difference. Um, right. Yeah, they go pretty fast, and um, and now so all you hear is just me giggling or me laughing or wiping out. Um, which, yeah, neighbors can't get that. Yeah. No, they definitely can't. Yeah, I, I yeah. apologize. Your audio is kind of being weird on us, but okay. I thought it was just my headphones. It's, it's under. Um, it's certainly understandable, but I think it's might have something to do with our crossing the streams or something. But we're. Uh, I mean, it's okay. We okay. can understand okay. you. It's just. Huh, let's you know, see. Am I on the right? Uh, testing. Let me see if I'm on the right. We have yeah, chose the right microphone. Yeah. It's the right mic and everything. Hello, hello. This one? Oh, oh, hey, whatever okay. you did, whatever yeah. you just did, fixed it. This is better? Way better. Way better. Okay. okay, yeah, there's a little green microphone button. I just turned it on and turned it back off. So the old oh. on-off reset. Always works. Better now? When all else fails, restart. <laughs> you tried turning it off and on again, yes. Okay. Well, so. Modulated. <laughs> I'm reading, yeah. It's perfect So now. yeah. Okay. Um, We're good. Uh, so so um, one of the ahead. things that I've recently updated with my track timer was the um, uh, I don't know how to the, the timestamp. So getting the, uh, each trigger to be accurate to a thousandth of a second. Um, I, I I paid a friend of mine to write a little bit of JavaScript that just gives a um, gives a timestamp whenever a keystroke is entered. And I think I'd contacted you guys to try and figure it out for a way to do it in the um, either in the controller mate or um, or in the X keys. And um, we kind of just went with an external trigger or an external timestamp. Gotcha. Um, but for yeah. a while that was I was using Google uh, Google Docs. I was using a spreadsheet in the cloud and there was definitely some lag time um, and if I hit two sensors that were too close apart or too close together, it would mess it up and say I was going like 99 miles an hour. Um, <laughs> oh so, so now I got everything a lot more accurate, which uh, I'm not going 99 miles an hour. So that's a letdown. But I know that the <laughs> so accuracy is sad. a big plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but but the accuracy is like I can trust it. Um, and so, yeah, I can I brought this up. This is um. Sort of what I, I got started with was this uh, electronic Louisville slugger where you throw a baseball at it and it tells you how fast um, how fast you're going. So I was going to set some set a couple of these up around the track, but trying to look at this, so trying to like steer the machine oh and then God. look at this, like, oh, I'm going 47. I totally <laughs> wiped out into my neighbor's fence. Um, <laughs> And so I needed a system that was hands-free, didn't rely on my friends with a stopwatch, because I did not trust my friends <laughs> to like accurately time me. Um, that's fair. And so that's one thing I've really been promoting online is for people to um, to set up just a, a, a track timer for under $100. So I'm not the only person, believe it or not, that has a, a backyard track. And um, but they're, they're all doing stopwatches. They're just, uh, and I'm like, that's not accurate. I was like, you, I was like, you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust my friend to like, okay, ready, no. set, go. Um, 
No. And so, yeah, I've been researching. Uh, I've been researching how drag uh, quarter mile drag strips work, um, and they have multiple of these. Uh, we call them electronic eyes. These like uh, little beam sensors. And so on one one side's got a beam, the other side's got a reflector. There. Yeah. And I've now got seven of these um, along my track. Um, and they're all wired so up I to can set switch interface. That's so Yeah, cool. I got a 12, an X keys 12. Um, and so I theoretically put five more. Uh, I'm just sort of running out of space. And I'm learning about um, how to how to accurately record uh, miles per hour. You want it on the straight sections. Um, and so I'm learning which is the fastest section of my track and sort of uh, fine tuning it that way. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> now, after we're done, um, I'm going to make sure we get a, a link to your YouTube channel in our comments here, because yeah. if you guys go to Scott's channel and see some of the other stuff that he's done with DeWalt cordless drills hooked up to wheels and um didn't you have like a pony a little pony or something that was running so got it got two of them yeah, the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i just rode it in a um we have a local parade they're sort of my parade bikes but yeah i make a lot of electric electric uh, assist bicycles and then it sort of just segued into the big wheels and the tricycles um but yeah all dewalt powered they're great little battery packs um so yeah my i think my youtube channel might just be my name scott blake but uh yeah lots of fun videos up there we'll, we'll make sure we get a link <laughs> so it sounds like you just have a lot of fun all the time <laughs> yeah i try to i'm an artist full time so i work from home um i make art with barcodes uh right uh right now it's, it's gearing up for halloween so i make barcode tattoos which people dress up and put barcode tattoos in the back of their head um <laughs> And so yeah, it's my busy season, and then uh, I also <laughs> I make lots of weird stuff. But yeah, and I just like to have fun. I like to have, uh, be in my backyard, and um, some of the trikes that I build they go about thirty miles an hour, so they're not necessarily legal to ride on the street. Um, and so it made sense to make have a a place that I can sort of practice. And uh, yeah, my backyard seemed perfect. <laughs> I mean, why not? What else are you using it yeah. for? <laughs> Yeah, and I have a skateboard ramp in the basement, so yeah, it's kind of become my little. Oh, um... Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And I have friends. So yeah, the cool thing is I have friends over, and now we can all race against the clock. My track's only wide enough for one trike to um, go at a time. You can't pass at, at any section. Right. Uh, and so we all we all just race against the clock, and we can truly. And then I get little. Now I make little printouts for people. That has like their uh, their top speed compared to the top five of all time, um, and then I've got three <laughs> different. I've got it broken down into like loops and laps, and um, and then speed traps. Um, so lots of data. I'm a total like spreadsheet nerd. So I get I really it. into like yeah I yeah. And the X keys is great. The X keys was that missing link. I didn't know how to get from the little the invisible beam to in the computer. Uh, and now I use these little, so the X keys got, has a stereo, uh, a stereo plug. Yep. And yep. I found these little, I don't know if you can see that, but these little um, adapters that have uh, three oh. wire, oh. yeah, that are perfect. That's... And so I bought a bunch of these that are in my X keys 12 now. And then I think I have about a thousand feet of wire running from the X keys to all the different sensors. Um, but it's just cheap, like telephone cable wire. Um, it's a super thin gauge, and um, and it snows here, so I'll, I even can run the track in the winter time. Uh, <laughs> and the sensors are rated for outdoor, so yeah. That's awesome. So here's I have not... my question: Is if you're running in the winter time, do you get better times in the winter or the summer? No, I definitely this um, <laughs> the summertime when it or when it's dry and hasn't rained in a minute. Um, <laughs> I think my I would say my most accurate top speed is probably twenty five miles an hour on the sh in the driveway. <laughs> um, but the snow's super fun just because it's super slippery and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do. Let's close out our main segment and then uh, come back for Q and A with Scott. Thanks, Scott. We'll be right back with you. Sure thing.
it. And we're back. We're back. So when after you contacted us, Scott, and I started kind of, I'm not a big stalker, but I was like kind of stalking you just to, just to learn more about barcode art and about these other projects that you have going. And I did kind of go down that rabbit hole for a while. It was it was pretty interesting. Yeah, I've been doing it for 20 years. I started making barcode art right before Y2K. Remember the end of the year computer oh, yeah. bug? So. Oh, was been working that. with Photoshop since version three. Yeah, Photoshop version three, ninety-eight. Nice. So yeah, wow, twenty years, twenty-one years. Um, yeah, website and uh, like I said, YouTube channel. I'm always posting stuff on there, and then uh, Instagram too. I cool. see Dan here says in Michigan the top speed for an electric bike is twenty miles an hour. I think. Hmm. Yeah, they have you different classes, class one, two, and three. And so they have ones with pedal assist, but I like just pushing the throttle, kind of like a moped. And so most of mine top out at 30 miles an hour without pedaling. And I can get in my pedal and go about 40 miles an hour. Um, yeah. And then my trikes are about the same. Yeah. How, how many of these do you currently have running? Uh got a couple of electric bikes. I've got an electric tandem, so me and my girlfriend can ride on there um, without nice. much pedaling. Um, they kind of, once, and Omaha is very hilly, so it's sort of a necessary, you're going to be biking around in Omaha. Um, and then I think I have three trikes. I made a trike for my dogs so they can fit in there, like a little sidecar. Um, <laughs> And we ride up and down the street. There's a, my, my girlfriend uh, had a business up the street, a bike shop. And so we'd ride up there, and, uh, again, with the parades. Um, but, yeah, my original trike I've had for about three years. Pretty much as soon as I built the trike, I started racing around my backyard and um, made the, uh, got into the time system. But yeah, yeah that's so I take it. So the ponies, I take those old rocking ponies from my children, they're called the rocking horses, <laughs> plastic bodies. I cut those in half and put them around the electric bikes. So I made a child, a child, child, an electric child, child, child plastic pony. Um, um, yeah, and I could tell you I, I apologize, we're having those audio issues again, they crept back in. But yeah. again, we can clearly understand what you're saying. Yep. It's just got some weird little feedback thing Daddy. on it or something. Not sure. Okay, I just. I don't know. Oh, oh. and it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just did that thing where I pushed the uh, the green on and off. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that works. That works. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better. So, okay. um, viewers out there, you guys have any questions That's for kinda... for Scott? There's little chat comments going back and forth. Um, Dan says he loves the garage part of the loop when we watch that video. Oh, I had another question. Yeah, so originally with the garage, it was only, I think, maybe 24 inches wide, and my trikes are 36 inches wide. So I had to go at that. <laughs> I had to knock out center blocks. Um, it was a whole thing. And then I made the ramp, and at first the ramp was like, complete launch level so now i've mellowed it out so you don't it was fun catching air but there's a tree right there and um thankfully okay. no one's gotten hurt knock on wood it looked like in the video that you could catch some air from that so That's yeah yeah sort fun. of mellowed that out now um and also now i catch air going down the ramp um sort of threading the needle uh yeah and i've wiped out a few times going down and just sort of yeah, a uh, yard sale in my garage. But um, <laughs> no, it was definitely worth it. I guess the one thing I would, uh, or I wish I would have done is I wish I would have done it sooner. Like as soon <laughs> as I did it, I'm just like, why didn't I do this sooner? It's so much fun. <laughs> oh and now, now when I see people's yards, I'm just like, you should have a track back here. I'm just like, why doesn't everyone have a track? And what are you doing with this garage? You should put a hole in it. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking about my yard. Might as well just make a track. I don't want to mow it all. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I've got a lot of I've got chickens and uh, a little garden over there. So no, I'm definitely not into mowing either. Um, although <laughs> the track, there's a lot of maintenance with the track, but I like it. It's it's exercise. I have to go out there and rake it. And I'm constantly building berms. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's fun. Going to get it banked for speed so you can increase your turns. Yes. Speed on the turns. Yes. Yes. 
How did ah. you hear about X keys to use with your setup? Uh, I think I was, I didn't even know what the term a USB switch was. Um, and I was thinking about um, breaking open a keyboard and maybe trying to hotwire uh, an old keyboard. And that's when I discovered the X key switch. Um, I was even thinking, and then you guys even have, or you sell uh, like an industrial button, like just a big orange button uh, mm -hmm. that plugs into the X keys. And I was going to have, um, I was thinking about maybe setting it up like a pressure plate so the trike would ride over it and uh, press the button. But then I looked, then I found out about the compatibility with the infrared, the beam sensors. Right. And it all came together. But yeah, I just I learned about USB switches, and I'm like, oh, you guys sell this perfect interface with the. Um, I still have my old, my old X keys three. Um, nice. And yeah, it just it just worked with my my the wiring in my brain. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> And you guys have great tech support, and I do a lot of stuff on Macintosh, and so the controller made software works great on Mac. I have one computer um, sort of in the garage, or, uh, in the basement next to the garage, where all the wires kind of come together. And um, yeah, it's an, old, it's an old Apple Mac computer, and um, X keys and controller make works great. Awesome. So I noticed on your spreadsheet, it looked like you had things broken down. Uh, by which loop you were doing? Yeah. How do you so? How do you know what loop you're doing on the trike, or do you set that up ahead of time? Um. So it's a figure eight track. Basically, the front yard and the backyard, and then sort of the middle is the three uh, laps. And then I've got enough sensors set up. And, um, and um, these, these super long if then statements, if you know that, like a spreadsheet, an if then function. Yep. If I go to this, if I hit this uh, gate and that gate, I know I'm going in that direction. Um, and so, yeah, it's a big long if then statement. So, yeah, a lot of uh, D lookup sorting. Um, but it's super it's accurate. accurate, so I'm, so I'm measuring, measuring down, down to the thousandth of a second. second. And, um, and um, I think I now the thing, the thing that I'm finding is maybe the slow, slow or the or has the slowest reaction time, time is the uh, the, uh, the, little the little sensor, sensor inside, inside of here. Of here. It's, uh, it's uh, it says it's ten milliseconds. So I've been trying to get down, like trying to film a tenth of a millisecond. My cameras don't go fast enough, so I haven't got I haven't got the X keys to stay on. The X keys can be triggered. I don't know. Is there is there must be a limit, limit um, um, to how many how triggers, triggers can be pressed in a second. But I certainly have it. It's, it's not in the X keys. keys. Um, um, and so now yeah, I'm able to, to have my have sensors, sensors pretty close, pretty close together, together and I can measure, 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 measure uh, 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 let's say it's 10 feet between, between the two sensors. sensors. I know how fast I'm going just based on 10 feet. So yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I have so many sensors in addition to knowing which lap I'm doing. Yeah, direction, yeah, direction and miles per hour. hour. That's basically so now I have, I have so the backyard, the backyard inside, the outside, outside, outside um, um, clockwise, 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 five, five, counterclockwise, top five, five, and then down and here, down here is the feed trap, the garage, garage, the water barrel, the water barrel, the fence, <laughs> and then again, and then again, the top five. Nice. Nice. Fun. I've got yeah, Sorry, we're having that audio issue again. Fortunately, we can still understand you, but yep. are you sure you're not a robot, Scott? <laughs> there we go. Uh, one spreadsheet. <laughs> no, I met with the voice. <laughs> your, your human voice oh, just it's... seems to morph into robot and then Weird. back again. Okay. It might be, a, well, might turn... be a, like a cumulative feedback thing or something. Yeah, I'm like not that. sure. So, mm. but again, at least we can still understand you. So, yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, yeah, so, so if you're if you you're, so you're saying if I buy an X keys, I no longer need to mow my yard. Bonus. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> and my and my garage has never been cleaner. Like my girlfriend <laughs> just loves. She's like the garage is so clean. I'm like, yeah, I've got to like hit top speeds up through here. So no, keep your garage clean. You won't have to mow anymore. Um, yeah, and it's and it's quiet and you, yeah, it brings the whole neighborhood together. <laughs> so yeah, my all my uh, the local uh, I de definitely get talked about on, in the local Nextdoor app and the uh, those kind of neighbor social media people every <laughs> once in a while like 
has anyone seen this strange man riding a big <laughs> wheel? Um, but they all just want to make sure that I'm okay. That some, someone thought I might have been uh, not okay, whatever that means. But <laughs> turns okay. out I'm, I'm okay. You're okay. Rudy has a question for you. Which sensors are you using? Uh, so they are, they're similar to like a garage door. Um, but I also, I remember you used to see them uh, when you walk into a radio shack or any sort of, and there's that beep when you walk in the front right. door and it beeps. Um, right. And so this is a Seek Alarm Enforcer. And I think they're about ugh, maybe 40 bucks a piece. They're not cheap, um, but these are meant for indoor, outdoor. And it's basically, basically just a relay switch inside there that um, when the beam gets broken, you can hear it click. You can hear the relay uh, going back and forth. Um, and so, yeah, got them on Amazon and they work pretty good. Cool. I'm going to do some checking for you if you want to really dive into this. Um, I know that I'm not sure if it's in the switch interface firmware, but I know that some of our newer X keys actually have a timestamp built into them. Yep. So you can get Ooh. a very accurate time from the X keys itself, regardless of any delay, you know, in any, yeah, any that's what we were talking about. We're so, have. yeah, I was basically going to try and hack it. Or, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right now we did a, uh, my friend wrote some JavaScript that is, right. uh, works on the computer, a local um, sort of script. Uh, it seems pretty accurate, but he was saying that he, he thinks there would be a way to do it um, either in the X keys or in the controller mate. It's, uh, it's part of our data report mm -hmm. of what exactly what millisecond that contact was made. And well, there you go. So it's That'd in there. Cool. I, I guess we'd have to mine the SDK or ask one of the engineers a little question, but I can get you that info. Yeah. I mean, I, so one of my most popular videos is, um, is the X keys and it's a DIY track timer for under a hundred dollars. And I think if you guys could build in a, a timer or like I said, a, a timestamp either into the controller mate, that would right. be, that would even lower the price. Um, I've had several people contact me from like colleges that have made, that are doing a, a electric uh, go-kart races and they're, they have a little timer set up like in a parking lot um, right. and they're using X keys, but the whole right now, the hangup was that, um, that last little bit of timestamp. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, nice. if you built it in there, that would be awesome. It's in there. I think we just need to get the info yeah. out, publish it. We do that a lot. We, we put secret features on our products and I forget to tell people that they're in there. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, like I was totally been looking. I think I even, yeah, something. So with that, you think that would work even on an older X keys? It's all about like, is it firmware or that be the yeah, controller it mate? A, it was firmware and the X keys at a certain point, we we added that timestamp in, but I'm I'm not sure which point. Right. So I'll have to do a little okay. bit of research here and I'll, but I'll definitely let you know about that. So. Yeah. Guys, any yeah, more so I think questions? This, go ahead. Well, I know this, this system could be used um, or has been used at RC. So for RC racing, uh, a smaller scale track, I know for a fact that people use this X key setup with our, with my little timing kind of rig together. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot of applications, not just for people like me with tracks in their yard. <laughs> <laughs> but also for even for like, um, so the one thing it doesn't work really well on is uh, multiple people. So like at a track meet, it's really it's really hard to differentiate between right. multiple because you just um, right. just breaking a beam so yeah yep and i thought about doing rfid tags in addition to <laughs> uh but then that gets up into the thousands of dollars and I'm right like, no, right no, 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 no. So. right right nice. up there yep well i don't think we have any more I questions think, i think i think our audience is out of questions everyone loves it everyone's saying it's very cool stuff. They're loving what you're doing. We really appreciate you taking the time to awesome. come out with us today, Scott. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, kind of almost in person, <laughs> in Thanks, video please. anyway. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, please come out to Omaha, Nebraska. We'd love to get you on the trike, do some laps, <laughs> get you in the spreadsheet. Yes. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> be fun. <laughs> Anytime. All right. All right. So bye, cool. Scott. And Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.